What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, welcome! My name is Alexis and here we talk about all things lifestyle. So today guys, I have boxes here and why do we have boxes? Because we're doing a haul. I have purchased so many things over the past two weeks or so that I have just been dying to show you guys. We've got skincare, we've got makeup, we've got other facial products. So if you are interested in what I've got to share with you guys, stick around because that's what's to come in this video. But before we go any further, don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below and that bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so the first place we have here is our favorite our favorite it is Sephora we have got a few makeup products here from Sephora so the first thing I'm gonna start with here is the milk makeup primer this is the milk makeup hydro grip primer y'all this stuff if you have it looks like this if you have oily skin um this stuff is to die for like with good skincare this milk makeup primer is awesome it has kind of like a I don't know kind of like a it's very hydrating so it kind of has like a watery consistency to it but then it gets a little tacky so your makeup sticks it's perfect um this is what the container looks like and it is great milk makeup is a, a great makeup brand and they have really come out with some great products so um this this primer here is it's fantastic the second thing we've got here sticking along in the milk makeup family we've got the milk makeup as you can see here, this is the Kush High Volume Mascara. The Kush Mascara. I have it in shade Boom, I think. It's like the black shade. So I think it's Boom. I don't actually know what the real shade is. But it's very cute packaging. And the packaging for the actual mascara is so... Like, if you could feel it, it's like stainless steel. Like, this is some high... Ha, very intense packaging for some mascara but this is what it looks like here this mascara this is the wand I really I have very short uh, eyelashes there so if you can see that's what the wand looks like but I have very short eyelashes I don't really wear eyelash extensions because I just do my makeup a lot so my eyelashes are short and curly as you can see I never wear falsies really I love a good mascara brush so that I am able to kind of volumize my eyelashes Alrighty, moving right along here the next thing we've got is the Lancome mm, Lancome Tonte Doll Ultra Wear foundation so Lancome this is what the box looks like here and the shade that I wear is 550 I'm kind of in between 540 and 550 but I just I tend to stick with 550. It does oxidize a little bit too, so you might want to shade down if that happens. But this is the Tonte Doll Ultra Wear Foundation here. Here's what the bottle looks like. Lancome, Lancome, do not sleep on Lancome. Like Lancome has, this is one of the best foundations I think out there. It's very good for oily skin, very good for all types of skin. It lasts it was supposed to last 24 hours, but it lasts a long time. If you set it right, it lasts a long time. It is just, this is a very, very good foundation. All right, and the last thing here we've got from Sephora, I've got the Fenty Beauty, mm, Fenty, gotta support Rihanna here. So I've got the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, which is the liquid eyeliner here, and I've got the shade, cause I'm black, because Black Lives Matter, and um, yeah, her packaging, like Rihanna's packaging with Fenty Beauty is always iconic. This here is like a pink packaging here, and this is what the outside of the liquid liner looks like. If you want to see how I got this makeup look that I have on here, I'll be posting a video either before or after this. Best Friend does my makeup with all these products. So it is very good, very pigmented, and it does last a very long time. So I love this eyeliner. All right, and what is the Sephora package without our freebies here? So the uh, samples that I got this time were the It Confidence in a Cream. This is the It Cosmetic Cream. Um, it's the moisturizer here. So I've actually don't think it's anti-aging moisturizer. I don't think I've tried it before. Um, but I thought, why not? It Cosmetics is a good brand, so I try it out. And then I've got the Marvelous Massage and Body Oil by Ellis Brooklyn here. So this is a CBD oil, I think. Yeah, it's a CBD oil and it's a massage and body oil. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. So I'm going to try this out. I have not really tried CBD oils yet, but I know it's very popular now. So I'm going to see what this is like here. And then, of course, we had to use some points because why not? Why not use any points? So I got the Tatcha Water Cream um, sample. This is the, I think it was 
300 points, I believe. Y'all, like Tatcha water cream, I know everybody talks about it. Everybody's obsessed with Tatcha water cream. Um, but this is actually the duo kit here. So it comes with the water cream, the moisturizer, and then it also comes with cleanser. So this is the deep clean cleanser here. I actually honestly have not tried it. So I've been using it a little bit here, but before this, I had never tried Tatcha water cream. I know it's a little pricey, so I'm gonna test out the sample, make sure I like it, and then I might purchase is the full size all right guys moving right along here next up we've got juvia slates y'all during these times i think it is really important to support your black owned businesses of course i got some stuff from sephora those are just my favorites but um really try to support your black owned business if you can because we need to support each other and black lives like i said do matter so go out there and support these businesses here so if you don't know juvia's place is a black owned business they have great products especially for darker deeper complexions but they're very pigmented and so what I got here I'll show you the first four so the, the first four I got the minis so this is actually the mini bundle that I got here so it came with four of these little eyeshadow kits here I got these on Juneteenth actually so there was a sale on Juneteenth if you missed out it was 50% off girl what are you doing but this is what I got here so the bundle comes with chocolates it comes with the violets, the berries, and the nude. So here's the outside of the chocolates here. This is what it looks like. Is it gonna focus? It is so cute, guys. Like their packaging is always so on point. This is what the inside looks like. It's got very, very pretty, very pretty neutral colors. Two deep browns, a lighter brown, and then two shimmers, of course. This is this is very, very pretty here next up we've got the nudes here okay this is what the outside of the nudes looks like here and this is the inside y'all so pretty so pretty look at those i think this one has two pressed pigments in it i think one pressed pigment yeah so this is so pretty you can honestly use some of these for a highlight or an eyeshadow um i know in other of their palettes that i have i definitely use some of them for highlighting and for eyeshadows all right the third one we have in this mini bundle is the violets here so this is what the outside looks like and this is what the packaging looks like here so pretty y'all the violets this one is so pretty like Oh my gosh, I love purple. Purple used to be my favorite color aside from pink. I love purple, but this is the inside. So gorgeous. We got some deep purples. This one has four shimmers in it. So even like the lighter shades here you can use for highlight. But I think this one has pressed pigments in it too. Not sure if this one has pressed pigments, but yeah, guys, beautiful, so pretty. And then last but not least, in the mini bundle pack, we have the berries. So if you see this look that I have here, this was done with the berries palette, with this palette here, my best friend did on me. I'll show you the inside. So I've actually used this one, but so this is the inside and it is so pretty. You've got, it's a very range shade of berries. So you've got light pink, you have bright pink, and then some dark pinks here. And you got two shimmers here, which some of them you can see on me are in the inner corner and then on my lid as well the two different shimmers so it is so pretty y'all like this is this is my favorite one it's gorgeous such a gorgeous palette all right guys next up in our juvia's place haul the last palette i got here is the nomad so this is the nomad these are i think they're like green shades here so i'm gonna open this up and we'll take a look so this is the outside of the nomad here it's so gorgeous like that is such a pretty such pretty packaging and then this is, oh, this is the inside, y'all. So it has a wide range of colors. We've got some yellows, orange, neutrals, a shimmer. Um, let me hold it up. There we go. So that is what the inside looks like. It's so pretty. Um, this is a very versatile palette. So you could definitely do a nice little neutral look, smoky eye look. You got the dark brown there. So this is so pretty, y'all. I think I have almost all of their eyeshadow palettes. If you guys want to see a haul of all of my Juvia's Place eye palettes, let me know, because I think I have most of them. Honestly, I have purchased so many of these palettes. And they're reasonable price, too. That's what I like about Juvia's Place is that 
you know, it's it's very good product for the or very good quality for the price of the product also. And there's nothing like good quality products with a good price too. Next up, we have some foundation sticks here. So these are the shade sticks here. I bought two of them. This is the outside. I have shade Congo and uh, shade Tunisia or Tunisia so um the Congo shade here I use for contour it's I think it might be the darkest shade there so this is what it looks like here <laughs> so that's the outside of it um that's the inside of it and yeah it's a darker shade good for contour even though it's a foundation stick like the consistency is very thick very creamy so you can definitely use it for contouring or highlighting whatever you want to use and then the next one I have is Tunisia and this is what the outside looks like there and then this one is more of my skin tone so this one I can use to like cover up but these are the foundation sticks they have such good texture and they last a long time too set it with some powder and it'll last and next up we have the I am magic concealer this is the outside here and the shade I got was eight. So I got shade 8. I'm actually a different shade too. I have a different one. I can't remember what shade it was that I've had. This is, this is the packaging. So pretty. Um, and yeah, this, I love their concealers because of the wand. Like their wand, the thickness of it. Here, let me show you. Let me show you. Y'all, like that wand there, if you never purchased Juvia's Place concealer, they have the best wand. It's so thick and I love it. And last but not least from our Juvia's Place haul, we have got the I Am Magic Setting Powder. So the shade I actually wanted, which was the darkest shade, was out. I can't remember what it's called, but it was out. It was sold out. So I got the Gobi shade, which is not, um, it's not too, too bright. I mean, it's definitely lighter than it appears on the website, though. But I used it to brighten my under eyes there. So this is the Juvia's Place Setting Powder here. And this is what, it's, I've used this, um, so I don't want to tilt it too much, but that's what the inside looks like there. So it def like I said again, definitely has a smooth, creamy texture there. It glides on very well. So that's all we've got from Juvia's Place. And next up, we have got Ulta. Oh, I might just Ulta Beauty. So I got a few things from Ulta here. The first thing I'm going to start with here is the Morphe Continuous. Continuous setting mist. Um, this is setting spray here. So I got the mattifying one because several times I purchased the uh, regular one, the black one, but I've never purchased the uh, mattifying one. So I kind of want to try it out and see what it's like. The rest of the products here, these are all the ordinary. So I kind of wanted to save this because I have ordered some more ordinary things too. And I'm going to do a whole video on my ordinary skincare. Like start from the beginning to end, kind of like testing it out because it's, it's very popular now. So I wanted to see what it was about. But I'll show you what I got from what I was able to get from Ulta. A lot of things were sold out everywhere, but this is what I was able to get from Ulta. And then the rest of them I ordered from their website. So I will definitely show you guys that when I get it in. But the first thing I have here is the Azalic Acid Suspension. And this is the 10% here. So I'm not going to go through everything with these. I'm not going to go through like what's good with what. Because I'm going to do that in a whole other video. This is the first one I got here. And it comes in this packaging here. I will say that their packaging is very, very cute. Like it's very smooth and very simple. So I definitely like their packaging a lot. All right. The next thing I got is the Lactic Acid Plus HA. It was a really popular oil. So we'll open it up. And then this is what the packaging looks like there. So that's what it looks like. Next up, we've got the Squalene Cleanser. So this is the outside of the packaging this is their cleanser here their face cleanser so uh, this is what the packaging looks like here and moving right along we have got the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil so I heard a lot of people like to use this at nighttime I think this one is good for night but like I said I'll do a whole video on what's good for when and what my routine is going to be using these products here um, but this is the package here this one is actually UV protected so it's dark and last but not least from the ordinary, we've got the natural moisturizing factors plus HA. And this one is actually fairly large. This is 
3.3 fluid ounces, so this is huge. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. Um, yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. So I'm going to try all these out and see what all the hype is about, see what I like. I do. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do a video on like what I like, but I'll definitely do a video on my routine and kind of how I use them and then see what I like and what I don't like. All right, guys, so last but not least here, I have got some skincare products. So this is actually, it, it's close to home. This is actually called Skin Seeds, and it is a skincare brand. It's actually my cousin's skincare brand here, um, black-owned. So once again, y'all, try to support your black-owned businesses, please. What I purchased here is the double cleansing kit. So it comes with two, step one and step two here. So the packaging is so cute. This is what it looks like on the outside. So this is a two-part cleanser here and I'm just gonna read what it says so the first one is the sunflower seed oil cleansing balm here so that's what we've got here then the second one part here step two is the spirulina I think that's how you say it um seed link face wash this is the wash here so first step one is for you to just apply the seed onto your face so it comes in like little seeds for step one and then you'd apply it all into your face and then step two is the cleansing so then you use your cleanser and wash that all off too so it has a lot of good natural products castor oil lavender mango butter sea sunflower oil they come out in different times too so for the next oil you've got until July 31st from July 17th until July 31st so y'all go out there order this skincare I'm so excited to try it I really cannot wait y'all know I am big on skincare like I'm obviously I'm so big on skincare um, I believe that skincare is kind of like the foundation of your skin so you can have great makeup but you got to make sure you have really good skincare owner of this is black owned like I said she has amazing amazing skin so I'm sure this is very well crafted skincare so I'm excited to try it out so that is it for today that's all we have we had a massive haul of skincare and makeup um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and um, yeah leave a comment down below of what is your favorite product that I got or what you're gonna be trying out let me know what you think and also guys leave any video ideas so if you have any video ideas that you want me to do whether it's skincare makeup um, any more hauls things like that I want to know what you guys want to see so leave your video ideas down below also and I'll be sure to get that out for you guys um, don't forget like comment subscribe and yeah we'll see you next time bye